Chef Hui is busiest during this time of year. For the last 40 years, his family's Dragon Phoenix restaurant is one of the hottest spots in Singapore to celebrate the Lunar New Year reunion banquet. During the weeks leading up to this grand event, the master chef takes time to prepare his kitchen. It's after all the biggest day for any Chinese restaurant. But Lunar New Year Eves weren't always like this. It will always be the happiest time of the year for the Chinese. And the preparations begin weeks in advance. When the usual delicacies and paraphernalia make their appearances and Chinatowns are at a frenzy. Mostly in preparation for the Tuan Nian meal or reunion dinner where the entire family gathers from far and wide for a feast. The tradition continues today but with one notable difference. People hardly cook for themselves during Lunar New Year reunions. You could say we've gotten a little lazy, or perhaps it could be the work of these three gentlemen known as the heavenly chefs in Singaporean food circles. Friends for over 40 years, they apprenticed in the kitchen of the old cafe hotel in Singapore. They continue to meet every day without fail at a restaurant they established together, the Red Star. Here, they each visit and pay respects to their Sifu of the old cafe, Mr. Lo Sing. Old Mr. Lo is probably somewhere in heaven, drinking his cup of oolong, thinking proud thoughts of his three comrades for their special gift to many Chinese around the world. The gift of Yishan. It made reunion dinners not just meals, but events. It's the only dish that made it okay for you to play with your food. Enjoyed whether you are old or young, the tossing of Yishun could break the ice among complete strangers at a dinner table. It proved how food could so effortlessly bring people together. And it brought reunion dinners to the restaurant. Restaurant Yishun was based on the street version of the dish. You see, in the olden days, poor immigrants enjoyed individual servings of Yishan as a simple salad of vegetables and raw fish. It was the three heavenly chefs who elevated the humble dish to its current divine incarnation. <laughs> And they do know something about taste. The three buddies worked long and hard at perfecting the recipe, and it was a labor of love. The eating of fish has a symbolic value during reunion dinners. The Chinese name for fish, yi, has the same sound as the word for abundance. The eating of raw fish, therefore, had an even greater symbolic value, but it also gave rise to one of the initial challenges of serving the dish.
咁樣。到此我哋又將嗰條魚啊，而家姐就唔係吊喺樹噶啦，要維生，最緊要維生，做好維生。三公先。画得好靓啊！好咯。啊，红云当头啊！哎，当头。啊，博取啊啦，博取唔系咁济啊。呢个呢个系香西啊。因为当时系咁样，在新年期间咧吓，诶，就我哋采种多，因为色啊嘛，色泽啊嘛。色香味，所以我哋就要一諗下，睇下用邊種顏色嚟配合。好似紅蘿蔔啦，就紅色啦；白蘿蔔白色啦，青蘿蔔青色啦。仲有嗰啲、呃、七彩嘅瓜英啦，就有幾種顏色啦，咁樣去配合佢嗰個盆菜就好睇。入邊咧就呢個就叫做色澤，那個賣相比較好。咁如果帶上酒樓咧，一定要一個賣相。The final masterstroke was the sauce. This was so that the dish would have a consistent taste that was well-rounded. Making a ready-made sauce for Yishun was to prove a little daunting when they launched the dish in its first year. We started the first year when we launched the dish. We made the dish to make the dish into a dish. This dish has a dish. 以往啊，一家四十年前、五十年代嗰啲老人家咧，喺撈個魚生咧，佢就要自己調味嘅，即係呢啲係佢嘅傳統習慣啦。咁但係依下我哋依家就唔使你熱撈魚，又唔使你落醋，我同你搞掂佢啦。咁咁又好得有一個意見啦。佢話：喂，你同我撈埋啊，你撈埋我嗰份啊，咁。<笑>有啲咁嘅笑話講啊，咁我哋話唔係，俾你方便啫。嗱，你試下，如果能夠好食嘅咯，食多啲啦。咁嘅人啊，果然啊，都啲細佬哥都話好食啊，爸爸好食啊，係嘛？恭喜發財，大發！有啲大發到啊！步步高升，步步高升。佢一年先嘅一字，咁樣夾字咧，就嗰個好運而生咧，就等於人哋話 lucky 嚇。咁啊好運而生咧，咁啊食咗咧之後咧，就希望行好運啊。咁樣變咗個撈起撈起撈起。嘅意思就係咁樣成人，又好食又花錢又實惠啊！七彩啊！真係靚啊靚！ Through the work of these illustrious gentlemen, Singapore has its own unique contribution to the customs and traditions of Lunar New Year cuisine. The tasty, colourful and most importantly, wholesomely fun dish of Yu Sheng. 好開心啊！佢呢一期啊，因為呢個菜能夠發揚光大呵，咁啊希望以後年青一代嘅酒樓嘅廚師繼續推廣呢個撈起魚生，把新加坡嘅飲食文化推廣到更上一層樓。呢個係我哋新加坡好特色嘅撈起魚生。Thank you.